Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy Notch here, back at it again with another spicy video. So recently, you know, I've been away from YouTube for like a month or something. Uh, my channel analytics are going down, so I need to juice the views of Dr. Phil. So I went to his channel and, um, oh, uh, first of all, the main reason you probably clicked on this video is because the title says something like Dr. Phil's most savagest moment or something like that. And the video that I found Dr. Phil being extremely savage in is, uh, his trailer for February. February, February. And just look at that smile. This February. I believe that Tyler Perry is raising my son. So you... Who the hell is Tyler Perry? <laughs> what? Are married to Tyler Perry? Yes, I am. I have not seen him face... To oh, I I've watched this part. I can't include this part because I'll get demonetized, even though it doesn't really matter. Face. How did somebody get eggs out of your body? I don't know. Who does know? Tyler knows. Yes, Tyler, Tyler knows. knows. First of all, I have no idea who Tyler is. Second of all, why is the audience so shocked? You'll push harder. Did I just hear that right? That that doesn't sound right. That okay. Push harder. Did you molest your daughter? Absolutely not. That that is messed up, my my dude. You you do not do that to a child. Come on, tell the truth. To get the answers. It doesn't bother you that you are with a bunch of weirdos. Oh, oh, guys, 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 guys. <laughs> Yo, Dr. Phil looks badass right now. Like, look at that watch, right? And uh, uh, look, look at his face. Just, he looks like he's like the captain of a gang or something. Weirdos. You bother me. You are such a hood rat. Okay, I'll be a hood rat and you're a horrible mom. Wait, was that, was that Daniel Bergoli 2.0, no, 3.0? Not 2.0, because we we already have a Daniel Bergoli 2.0, I made a video on her. Actually, no, she's Daniel Bergoli, sis. This is Daniel Bergoli 2.0, people. You are such a hood rat. Okay, I'll Okay, yeah, yeah, hi, 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 That was such a bad impersonation. Hey, I'll be a hood rat and you're a horrible mom. Alright, well, what is a hood rat? You guys probably know, but I'm so dumb. I don't even know what a hood rat is. Can somebody please explain what a hood rat is in the comments below, please? You'll dig deeper. I'm telling you guys, that does not sound right. That <sighs> dig deeper. Okay. My younger sister faked being pregnant. You gave her a positive pregnancy stick. Where'd you get it? To uncover the truth. You the truth. Only Dr. Phil knows the truth. <laughs> every single answer to every single... It, it's just stored in his brain. You knew you weren't pregnant. Why did you do that? I don't know. I don't accept that answer. Yo, yo, did you see how savage Dr. Phil was right there? Oh my gosh. I don't accept that answer. Eric is in a polyamorous relationship. I'm the... I, I don't really agree with these type of relationships. It's probably weird. Like, you got two people for, like, one guy, like... <laughs> Look at his face. I'm the most connected to myself than I've ever been. You're homeless with your children. All right, guys. So she just said she feels the most connected she've e she's ever been, but she's homeless with her children. Yo, this reminds me of Fuzzy Tube when Fuzzy Tube went homeless or when he faked being homeless or whatever. <laughs> he said he felt like better than he was normally. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all brought someone here that I explicitly said not to bring. Nobody tells me who to put on my show, including you. Oh, burnt! Oh my gosh. Dr. Phil has gone 20,000 levels of savage, bro. Like, okay, that didn't make sense, but Dr. Phil is in the highest tier of savageness right now. Did you just hear that? Let me repeat that. Y'all brought someone here that I explicitly said not to bring. No, nobody tells me who's on my show, including you. Look at look how shocked this her face is. It's like huh, he said it. He he spoke the words of wisdom it came out of his forehead. She she can't believe it. Like just look at the pr expression. Uh, and then Doctor Phil's face is like. No, it, I don't give a hoot. Step up. This is not a Mickey Mouse program. I'm done, man. That that was just too savage for me, man. Like, too savage for Jake Paul as well. Too savage for all of his fans combined. Like, this is the most savagest I've ever seen Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil, I think you might have lost an L. Because if you didn't know, Dr. Phil gained an L for forgiving Logan Paul or something like that for what he did or something. So people are saying Dr. Phil has gained a big L. But I, I 
think I gotta reduce it, man. That, th this was just too savage. Yeah, thank you so much, Dr. Phil, for providing me extra watch time. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you do enjoy my content, you can hit that notification bell, like the video if you want, all that cool stuff. Nobody's forcing you. It's if you want to, you know. And if you did enjoy this video, you can click uh, a video either on the left side or the right side. And uh, you can check out my channel in the middle. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Peace. Tell me when am I, when am I gonna see you? Cause I've been missing your vibe.